As temperatures continue to drop, truck drivers must be prepared for one of the winter's biggest inconvenience, frozen air brakes. While it's bound to happen in colder parts of the country, there are still many precautions you can take. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about how to release frozen air brakes this winter and what steps you can take to prevent them from freezing. One of the safest methods to fix frozen air brakes is to cut and resupply air to the trailer. By doing this a few times, you may be able to create enough pressure to break the ice between the drum and the shoes. Pull the trailer parking brake button out, waiting for 10 to 15 seconds, then pushing it back in. If this doesn't work, continue for 10 cycles before calling your leader for help. Depending on how stuck your brakes are, you may be able to jar them loose by simply rocking the trailer back and forth gently. Do not drag your tires, as it could seriously harm the equipment. Another common option is simply take a hammer to the brakes to separate the drum and shoe. Make sure to not hit the brake pad, as it could fracture very easily. You can do this by supplying the trailer with air. Tapping the top and bottom of the brake drum until it loosens. There should be a change in the sound of contact when the brakes are unstuck. Some safety tips for using this method include Remember to set your tractor brakes, shut off the truck and put the key in your pocket, chalk your wheels. Do this on an even surface, as the trailer may roll when the brakes are released. Never be in the path of the tires when hitting the brakes. The best way to prevent frozen air brakes is to take the proper precautions before stopping. Three things you can do to try to prevent frozen air brakes are, drain your air tanks. Draining your air tanks will remove the moisture that accumulates and help lower the risk of them eventually freezing. Best to do this daily is moisture building up in the tank and lines and likely in the wintertime. Though newer trucks have automatic drain valves, it is still essential to routinely inspect them during periods of cold weather. Routinely check in the status of your air dry by noting the amount of water released when you drain your tank. If a lot of water comes out, your air dryer may not be functioning properly. If this is the case, there are two things you can do. Replace your air filter. These are often replaced once a year, but it can vary depending on the manufacturer. A lot of drivers replace their filters in the fall, right as the temperature starts to drop. Check your air lines and valves. If the filter isn't the issue, look for any damage to the air lines and valves. These should be checked and serviced around twice a year. Having a working air dryer does not mean you can skip the steps of draining your tanks. Whereas draining the tanks get rid of existing water in the system, the air dryer works to remove the moisture that is still in the air. You can also try to prevent frozen air brakes by gently rocking your trailer back and forth before stopping. By doing this, you can get rid of some of the moisture in the lines and shake water or snow off your brakes. Check the trailer to ensure that tires are all moving. Drive slowly in an S pattern to ensure all tires are moving and not frozen. Move to the right slowly and look at your mirrors to see if the tires are moving. Then slowly move to the left. Again, look in your mirrors to see if all the tires are moving. We hope this video has helped you learn how to deal with frozen air brakes and be prepared for the winter. As always, remember to subscribe and follow Snyder to get more truck driving content.